we have a significant number of people who are not immunized. BC's health minister announces an immunization blitz as new numbers show a drop off in vaccination rates last year. 82% of seven year olds had their measles shots in 2018. That's down from nearly 90% the year before. The goal is to get that number all the way up to 95%. The government plans to do that with its new measles immunization catch up program. It'll run from April to June with the province spending $3 million to boost its supply of vaccines. And just to put this in context, in the average year, we uh, in British Columbia get about 120,000 doses of a uh, of vaccine. This year, we are going to be adding that, essentially doubling that amount to support these campaigns. Health authorities will set up special clinics at community centers this spring and mobile units will circulate through certain regions of BC. Public health nurses will also go into schools province-wide to make sure measles vaccines are made available to every student. It's an initiative being welcomed by many. I think it's an interesting approach to, to do it in schools. I kind of find it surprising that the schools allow unvaccinated kids to go in the first place. But some say the province is interfering where it shouldn't. I'm very much a believer that people should be able to make their own choice about vaccinations and I would like to keep uh, the government out of it. He has three young children and says parents should not be forced into a decision either way. I've chosen for sure to delay the vaccination process with my kids. Um, but again, I'm not against, um, but I am a big believer in doing your research. Yet this online petition shows nearly 50,000 signatures in support of mandatory immunizations. The Maple Ridge mom behind the push says kids should have to be vaccinated before they can be enrolled in public school. The province has said it has no plans to force parents to immunize their children. Instead, the province is moving forward with plans for mandatory vaccination reporting this fall. The registry will blanket all public and private schools in BC and will be in place for the start of the next school year in September. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.